Crouton Ramon's House of Math. We're just about to get to the 10,000 square ourselves here, uh, where we have like multiple hundred times multiple hundred. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Before we play those games, let's play a different game. You remember What's Under the Cup? What? I said, do you remember the game called What's Under the Cup? No. Okay, well, we'll make it super easy. These are going to be super easy, by the way. I just want you to know. I'm not, I mean, this should, the, the idea is that they should be super, super simple, right? Um. Okay, so. That's it. They're just silly games to play by the time you're your age. This is going to be really easy. All right, there's my equal sign. That's a 10, right? All right. Yeah. So I'll tell you what, we'll make it even more than that. We'll make it seven. Or, excuse me, we'll make it 12, and then we'll make this seven. And then I'm going to say seven plus, can you see? You can't see good. Whatever is in the cup, what has to be under the cup? Five. Got to be, right? Seven plus five more. And we can see, look, we're just making an equal sign, right? Let's turn them sideways. Bam. Bam. And he did it instantaneously. He didn't have to think about it, right? All right. Yeah. What we is... We put a plus sign. Okay, we should have put a plus sign. I agree. But we can see... But can you see the equal sign? Yeah. All right. I mean, it's just a long, skinny equal sign, right? And you are correct. Seven. We can do all symbols. Seven plus five is the same thing as one, ten, and two. Yeah. All right. What's six and five? Six and five is eleven. What's twenty-five minus six? Oh, um, nineteen. Wait a minute, twenty-five. Oh, you're right. You're right. What's twenty-one minus six? Oh, um, fifteen. Oh my goodness! What, you, I can't believe my mouth and my brain didn't do the right thing. Anyway, I was thinking one thing and I said something completely different. That's amazing. Anyway, all right. What is twenty? Uh, what is thirty-two minus six? Thirty. Um, twenty. Twenty-six. Very good. See? And he's just doing them in his head. All right. We're warming up because last time I was thinking that the issue was not your multiplication. Your multiplication is pretty good. Let's do some quick multiplication. 7 times 5. 7 times 5 equals 35. What's uh, 11 times 12? 132. Very good. What's uh, 15 times 9? 15 times 9. One one thirty five. Very good, right? So your multiplication is fine. It's the what's the what's the hang up? The hang up is the addition you sometimes. Add. Yeah, when you add. All right. So we just got to get used to the add part, right? Those forty five add ins. What are you drinking? Water. Water. Yeah. Water is good. It's good to drink water. Yeah. All right. So let's play. Now you can roll your dice. We got a little warm up for your brain. What's under the box is fun, but easy. Okay. 16? 16. We're going to make that 160. Mm. Add a 10 to it. Alright. So, we'll do, we're going to do three of these. We're going to do five, and then let's do uh, 160. 15 times, and then dun dun dun, let's make it three digit times, well actually we're going to get to three digit times three digit here shortly, and that's where you'll have the big, you'll have one of, uh, one of these big blue, big blue square, well that's half of the big blue square, I can unfold it and make it a big, uh, there you go, see, then you get a 10,000 square in there, and uh, you can see because 100 times 100, 100, 100 yeah. times is 10,000, right? 800. I like it because 5 times 16 is just 80, right? Yep. And then put a zero on there. And if we were going to do it in all the parts, we'd have 500, 300s, 300. and that's it. There's yeah. zeros, right? Okay. All right. Try that one. <laughs> because look, now, all you're going to have is 1600, zero, zero, right? I'm just still making my own board. Well, then it's just 500. Were you drawing it? Yeah, I'm doing it. No, I'm drawing like... I'm drawing okay, like there's a different... Drawing actually square. means drawing, like making the squares and rectangles and stuff. No, yeah, I'm drawing like how you built, like... Yeah. My tic-tac board. Oh, don't do the tic-tac-toe thing. Come on. 
Because, I mean, look, where's the action? There's no action over here. The only thing you got to do is six and five and three. Which you could see is 11 and three more, or eight and six more, or how could we do that? Nine and five more. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, so, dude, over here, what do we have? I got zero and zero. That's easy. What? What do we got? Fifteen hundred. How much? Fifteen hundred. How much? Don't tell me I did my my multiplying wrong. You did your multiplying. Oh, I don't know. Do you have these here right here? No. What do you have? Oh my god, I have way more stuff than you. You have way more stuff than me? Yeah. The answer should be 2400. 2400 is correct. I know, because I looked at your graph. <laughs> but what do we do? I did 10 times 160 is 160 10 times, or... 1,600. And then, and then, no, and then what? And then what? And then, 5 times the 100, I even broke it out. I should just make this 800 all at once, but I broke it, right? So, 5 times 100 is 500. 5 times is 6 is 300. And then I stopped doing it because 5 times 0 is silly. Yeah, I think I did my multiplying this wrong this time, actually. You did the multiplying wrong? What did you, where? where? Yeah. Show me your work. Show me your work. Show me what you did. Like, actually. Oh, don't do that. That's that. That's the whole thing. That whole tic tac toe thing. That whole. That's that's what's messing you up. All right. So, what's the rules for doing this kind of math? You don't know the rules. Count the big ones first. That's the number one rule, right? Yeah. Okay. Number two rule. Let's draw this. Okay. So I have to be one hundred and sixty across. We're not re quite ready to go to. All right, so 160 across means that I got one big, long, skinny red strip, for those of you that have basic operations pieces. And then I have one, two, three, four, and I don't have enough room, so I'm going to go back the other way. Five, six. Everything fit? Yes, everything mostly fits. I should turn some lights on in here. Suddenly, I don't know. The clouds just, the sun is in the place where there's lots of clouds. Now, first key. And then what? Then how high do you have to go up? Oh, look, everything turned on. How high do you have to go up? Over here. Well, it says I have to go up 10 and 5 more, right? So 10 and a half of one, right? Yeah. And you know what I'm talking about, right? I'm talking about. These guys. So I have to go. Boot, ten and half more. So I'm gonna just draw that, and that's gonna turn into. Here's my one thousand right there. Right. Yeah. Okay. Now these are gonna be terrible because they're supposed to be squares and they're not. <laughs> but one, two, three four, five, six, red squares, that's these guys, whoops, let me take one out of the bag, uh oh, they are really in this bag, they're, in, they're a bag in a bag, who's crazy like that, alright, so anyway, I have six of those guys, right, now I'm not done yet, I just did this part right here, 1,600, now I'm going to do half again, Right? Yeah. So half again would be how many? Well, five hundreds right there. See them? And then uh, six groups of five right there. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, and if I wanted to get crazy, I'd go one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and so forth, right? And I'd do it 30 times, and boy, that would get stale fast. Boom, done. What did you do? And then what? Then the reason why we count the big ones first, because look, you count these, then you count these, then you count that, then you count that, done. And then if you had some in the corner over here, which we don't, because we made it a zero, which is why I start off with this problem. We have no green ones in the corner, right? Okay, now I'm gonna multiply it again and see if I get the same answer, 2,400. All right, you should get the same answer, but let's see. Oh, uh, 1,600. So here's 1,600 and eight more hundred. But the 800 is, is broken into 500 and 300. I mean, what, what's eight? And then 15. Yep. See, and then when we start doing 100 by 100, we're going to have a big blue square, right? Yep. Because that's all it is. It just gets bigger and bigger, and you just count more. Ten times 100. Is 1,000, isn't it? Eight. What? I said 10 times 100 is just 1,000, isn't it? Yep. Okay. In fact, look. Let me find one of these. If we examine this closely, and I need a red strip, but I don't have one of those handy. Okay, now I got the 1,600. But, but do you see that each one of this is this 100 the long way? But it's also 100 this oh. way, 100, 200, 300. I think I got it this time. Okay, excellent. Five times three hundred. Ah, there you go. You're counting your tens, right? Five, right? That's six tens, five times, which is. It's zero zero. And you're going I this way. Good. Excellent. 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 And you should see the big smile on his face. Excellent. Okay. Good stuff, right? Yeah, we're more than See, and that's why we like it. Cause I, see, and I was just thinking, I had this one student. She was a rather petulant little 13, 14-year-old girl. And she was trying to tell me that this wasn't, I mean, that, she, anyway. And she was coming up like you with crazy answers because she didn't understand place value. And she was having difficulty with counting the big ones first. And then also we were doing, like, problem solving. We were doing algebra. And sh somehow... Let me just tell you this. 3x, I can't just take away the 3 and come up with x. It's just, you, you can't do that. You just can't. No. <laughs> right? Because you don't have the same kind here. Anyway, but she was trying to tell me that you could take the 3 out by just, multi by just subtracting the 3. Anyway, you can't do that. All right, so let's do a bigger one. Roll your dice. But we're going to stay 3 digit times 2 digit. I got horrible numbers. Horrible numbers? How does that work? Two and five. Oh, that's super easy. So let's make it 25, which is fun because it's like counting quarters. And then roll your dice again. Okay. Bring them 25. Yeah. 25. Yeah. I'll put it over here. 15. All right. Oops. Let's do 25 and... We'll do one five and then roll it one more dice. Nine. Wow. Nine or six. 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 Okay, nine or six, either one, I don't care. Alright, do it. Boom. A hundred and fifty-nine quarters. Or twenty-five no, times. Alright, fine. Hundred and fifty-six. Fine. <laughs> fine. Be the six. I don't care. <laughs> Do you know that your answer is going to end in zero right off the bat? Yeah. Okay, good. I mean... Can you multiply all these numbers easily by two? Can you multiply 156 by two and come up with the right answer? No. Ah, so you got to practice multiplying by two. That's a very good skill to have, you know. Dividing by two and multiplying two. Mul excuse me, multiplying by two. Two very good skills to have. 
So I could break it up into, I could break this up into six parts if I wanted to. But I know how to multiply 2 times 156 and come up with 312. But I could multiply 20 hundreds and come up with 2,000. And then I could multiply 20 fifties and come up with 1,000. And then I could multiply 20 uh, sixes and come up with 120. Okay, look, I just did this times all that. And then I got to do five more. But can you see where I could just make this 312 with a zero behind it? If I knew how to multiply. All right, you're still going to have to draw it. And then I can do the next three, which is five hundreds, uh, 25, 250, five, and 30. How much? 3,900. You are correct. Yes. <laughs> You're allowed to dance if you want to. Don't feel bad. How did you get 3,900? Well, 3,000. Oh, look, 7, 8. But, oh, there's an extra one over here, right? Because 8 and 2 gives you just enough yeah. to make one more, right? Bam. Done. It's that easy. It's that easy. I don't know, you were trying to make it hard with this other technique that you were doing and it's not, wasn't working for you. Do me a favor and draw this, darling. I'm still doing the same technique. Well, you, I'll tell you what, you can work on that technique after you get this one down. Because that technique is just basically breaking it up into other pieces. What he's doing is the, the typical way you see it in school where you have to split and shift. Where you have... I mean, technically my mom told me to do it that way. Right, because that's the way your mom was taught, but it's not working for you. Right, you put the zeros in, and you multiply this way, and you go the other way, right? Anyway. All right, do me a favor and draw it. Draw it? Okay. And I'm going to draw it all in one color. Well, actually, that's white. Okay. I have pens, so why not just draw it in two colors? All right, so, 100. 5 tens. Six units. And now we have to go up 25 times. So we have to go up, I'll do it on this end, on this side, we could do it either way. With 20, there's two tens, and then five more. So it'd have to be one, two, three, four, five. And I'll just fill in my rectangle. Well, let's see here. Can you see right off the bat, there's two thousands. That's easy. And then a whole bunch of hundreds up here. How many of them? Five of them. I'm just going to make it one thing like that. That's 500. And then let's see here. We got to turn those into red squares. Lots of red squares. Damn. That's not one color. I know. I was going to be monochromatic, but I decided to put lots of colors in there to make it look cool. And plus, it mirrors what you would play with if you were playing with the blocks. <sighs> All right, and then let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. We'll put the six there. Close enough. Oh, it's getting starting to get off here. What was it gonna? One, two, there. Five, three, four, five, six. There you go. Better. And now we gotta go the other way. And these are gonna I'm be. I'm just going by so fast. Is it? Yeah, it's already seven thirty. Wow. Well, we started late. Mm -hmm. So there's five it's tens. Still, there's I know it's still it's going by pretty quick. I agree. And then over here I'm gonna put in the green corner. What's what's six what's six times five? Thirty. Easy, right? So that's this part right here. Thirty. And now I'm gonna take my black pen and label everything. This is a thousand. I already labeled everything. Yeah, great, good for you. Good. I'm glad. This is a thousand. That's a thousand, right? These are all hundreds. So I'm just going to make all of this. Yep, I'm going to make all of this. Okay, well, fine. You're done then. I'll put 30 over here. Oh, no. I'll, I'll do... <laughs> anyway. I did it on my other graph. Okay. And that's five hundreds and five more hundreds, right? So this is five hundred. This is five hundred. 
Uh, um, this is 60 over here. That's another 60. Uh, how much is this one? What? That one? It's 500, right? Yeah. And then how much are all those blue ones right there? Which ones? Well, each one of these is 5, right? Yeah, 25. So, 250, right? And bam, just count it all up. Well, like I said, count the big ones first. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 3,500, 3,000, right? I mean, bam. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's get bigger. Let's do another one. Okay. Do you want to do multiplication for the whole hour, or do you want to do something else? Your, your call. Like, I know last time you wanted to get, you just wanted, you wanted to keep doing this until you, until, until you got it down, right? What else can we do? Well, we could, well, there's all kind. are you kidding? There's fractions, there's decimals, there's radicals, there's, there's algebra, there's trigonometry, there's calculus, there's all kinds of stuff we can do. Uh, I want to master multiplication. <laughs> it's good to master multiplication. Like I said, 40, here's your, your job as parents. 45 add-ins, which we found that was a little bit of the problem, but for the most part, you just got to remember how to put them in the right places. And then yeah. 400 math facts. And he's got, you got your math facts pretty much, I mean, from 1 to 9, you got them down, right? You don't even have to think about it. What's 9 times 9? 9 times 81. What's uh, 4 times 7? 4 times 7, 28. See, you pretty much got them down. Doesn't really much have to think about them. Now, you got to get to the point where when I ask you something like, what is 17 six times? Okay. Yeah, that I'm a little slow on. Well, just think about it. 17, six times. You basically have two okay, parts, right? You have 60 and 42, right? 60 and 42, 102. There you go. Bam. Right? 102. Got it. Right? Um, well, um, now what are we I doing? What? Accurately without drawing. There you go. They, that's the idea. But, right? but they take a while. Yes, and that's the idea. See, first you play with the blocks. Then pretty soon you don't need the blocks anymore, you're just drawing, where you play in the, with the blocks and you draw them. Pretty soon you don't need to have the blocks, you just draw them. And then pretty soon you don't need the drawings, you just have the symbols. And then the same thing, what are we doing when we do this other, when we're doing these other problems? Roll your dice. <laughs> Careful. Oh my god. What'd you get? Oh my god. A one and a ten. A one and a ten. We'll call that 11, just for fun. Okay. All right, and roll it again. Roll, roll one more. We need a third digit. Okay. Actually, no joke. It's so funny. 14. 14. We're going to call that 4, unless you want to call this 24. All right. Now, roll one more time. We've got 124. Now we've got to figure out what we're going to multiply it by. Let's say we got a load of 124 bricks. How many loads do we have? Or a load of 124, I don't know, chairs? Or cases of glass bottles? Nine. Okay, we want to do nine or 19? Both. All right, let's do both. I like it. 124, nine times. 124, 19 times. Now look. It's just the same thing we just did a second ago. Done. 1,084. That was fast. How did you do that so fast? Oh, my goodness. I just did 9 times 100, 9 times 2, and add the 4. All right. Well, I think we have a problem, because what's 9 times 4? <laughs> See? <laughs> I, I, See? I, 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 I know exactly what you did. All right. So let's do it in pieces, though. I love it, because like, like, all I had to do was ask, right? Just ask questions. All right, so 900, you got that part. I'm very pleased. And then what? 180, because that's 920 times. And then what's 9 times 4? 9 times 4 equals 36. Bam. All right, so now you, there's no way your number could end in 4, right? I'm so mad. Don't be mad. Be glad. You're so close. Do it. It's 1,116. Right? 1,000. And wait a minute. That's 100. 
Uh, and then, wait a minute, so we got 1,000, then we got another 100 over here, because I got 80 and 30, so 1,100, right, and yeah. 16. One, 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 six. That was 124. And we could go back this other way. Six, that's easy. 11, bam. Right? Okay, so now, now it's just basically I'm nine and two. The other one. All right, all right. Let's try the other one. Now, here's the thing. We already know this part, right? Oh, yeah. Because it's the same, isn't it? Yeah, so it's 900 on there. Alright, so wait. Well, so first we're going to have 1,240, and then the 900, and then the 180, and then the 36. So what? It's just more numbers to add. This is why in my grade school we used to have huge columns of numbers to add, so that we would be getting ready for multiplication. They didn't tell us this, though. But why not skip that and just do it all at once? Okay. What? So, it is... Uh, so it's just supposed to be a six, yet. not as that looks like a zero. It's a six. Oh, there you go. So there's a little action here, and there's a little action here. I can only add it up and see if I get it wrong. Okay, how about you add it up and see if you get it right? Good. <laughs> Do I have an extra? Alright. So, I like it. One. Okay. I gotta look a little ahead. I gotta look a little ahead because I can see over here that this is gonna be 15, right? Is it 2356? And then over here, I can see that that's gonna, yep, it's gonna be, it, how did you get to, right? It's gonna be 2, 3, 5, 6. Yes! Because there's an extra thousand here, and there's an extra hundred there, right? Yes, there you go. Doing the chunky monkey. All right, now, roll your dice. 20 and 4. 20 and 4. Just roll one dice, one number. We're going to change this from tens to something else. Two. Oh, too easy. Try again. Let's get higher than two. Se All right, so we'll call it seven. Bam. Now I'm going to have a big delivery, <laughs> right? Last time, I had, uh, last time I had 19 cases of 124. Now I've got 79 cases of 124. How much is that? Well, well can you see that all this... Can you, wait a minute. Can you see that all this is the same? Yeah. All right, now I just have to do the seven, right? Yeah. Can you do this? Wait, can, you do, can you do it all at once? Can you, can you do it? Well, because the nine, we didn't. The only thing we changed was the seven. So this part of it stays the same, right? Yeah, there's still the nine hundred. All right. So then all I have to do is the seven. Can I do this all at once, or do you need help doing it in parts? The seven, right? Seventy times a hundred, seven thousand. And then fourteen hundred. And then, because we're, right? And then 140. That's it. That's it, right? It's 2240. You, you could do the whole thing. Hold on a second. You could do the whole thing. Zero, four, five, eight, right? Well, I'm going to do the whole thing, but I'm going to take what I already have. All right. And then you just got to stick it together. Oh, so it's the same thing. Can you see how this is just a big rectangle and it goes up by seven yeah. tens? And here we just combined part of the rectangle. And here we have it in its parts. Like I said, uh, if you've got little kids, you really want to spend some time building these with your multi tens, or excuse me, with your basic operations pieces and drawing them. And basic operations pieces are actually pretty easy to cut out of cardboard when you get right down to it, if you need to. If you're in a classroom situation, you might want to have the ones you get from the Mortensen Company because they are durable. These are over 20 years old. Okay. 
How old are you? Okay. You're seven, right? Yes. Okay. So uh, these, uh, these, this, this block that I, or this little piece that I have in my hand, is yeah. is more than three times older than you. Twenty one years old. It's more than twenty one years old. Guarantee it. Okay, eighty one sixteen. I have a serious problem, sir. I already have 8,540 plus 900 oh. more. So I'm at least 9,000. I know that much. Oh. What? All right, draw your, make your columns. This is important. Right? You got to keep your ones where your ones are, your tens where your tens are, your hundreds where. Your... But how do you? But well, first off, I don't understand how you could have eight thousand five hundred, add nine more hundred, and still have eight thousand. I didn't get eight thousand five hundred forty. What'd you get? Seven thousand nine hundred one eighty. Hold on a second, hold on a second. Let's start over again. Now you got me wondering. Did I forget to add something? I, I don't know. Let's, let's, let's do it again. What's seven times a thousand? Seven times a thousand? Or, excuse me. Seven times a hundred, that's not a thousand. What's seven times, and it's not, that's, okay. Let's use our verbiage very correctly here and say what we mean and mean what we say. This is 70 times a hundred, or a hundred yeah. 70 times. What's that? 170 times, 7,000. 7,000. Seven times that, right? Seven, zero, zero, one more zero because, right? Because that's a 70. All right, now, what's seven times 20 or 70, 20 times? 70, 20 times, 140. I mean, one, one, 1,400. 1,400, I like it. Now, what's seven times four? Seven times four is 28. Is that what I had last time? Oh my god, what did I do wrong? 8,428. I don't think that's what I had last time. That's not. You were way above. I was too low, you were too high. Yep. But adding is probably wrong. Let me check. Alright, is this part right? Dude, it's only three numbers. This, this, and this. Now, here's the problem. Is this 28? Wait a second. Is this 28? Seventy times four, so it's two two hundred eighty. There you go. You said seven times four. I know. I was being lazy with my verbiage, and it's not. It's clearly 70 times 4, right? I mean, how do, you, how do we miss that? I don't know. How do we miss that? Exactly. <laughs> but the idea is you're, supposed to, you're, catch, you're catching it, right? You see the mistakes? Although that time I really had to point it out to you. Right? I mean, you said something wrong, and then I figured out what was wrong. There you go. That's the, the whole point of this method. All right, because who's doing the figuring out when it's wrong? You, right? I'm not telling you it's wrong. You're figuring out when it's wrong. Mm. And sometimes I just kind of go along with you, but uh, we got to make sure we get the numbers correct. All right, now can we add all this together? This is super easy. Eight, six. Okay. Right? Eight. For some reason, oh. I know what I did wrong. Okay, good. That's the that's the whole point of the exercise. I put, oh my god, I put completely off wrong numbers. Yeah, so see, yeah, that'll, that'll do it every time. I put, like, the wrongest numbers. <laughs> well, try not to put the wrongest numbers. Put the rightest numbers. I put, like, 180, in, like that. Yeah, can't, ooh, can't do that. In 36. Yeah, you can't, oh, you, you can't, yeah, oh, okay, well, the 36 is correct. 9 times 4 is 36. 9 times 20 is the 180, and 9 times the 100 is the 900. So all of these numbers are correct. Now all of these numbers are correct. Oh, my. 
Like I said, just do it in parts. I forgot what the problem is. You forgot what the problem is. 124 79 times is the problem. No, I figured out what it is. Oh, I see, I see. I put a, a, eight, a 180, but I forgot to put a 1400. You for, oh, you forgot this part. Well, that's kind of major. You forgot to multiply it 7 times the 2? Yeah. Yeah, you gotta make no, sure. Seventy times the two. Yeah, seventy times the twenty. When you get right down to it, so you gotta not use lazy language, right? That's seventy okay. twenty times, which is fourteen hundred. Why did you say seven times two? That's fourteen. You're correct. Two zero. And it is fourteen. That's the easy. That's a lazy way of saying things. Yeah. Seven times two. But then you gotta remember, there's a zero and a zero, right? Because there's a zero here and a zero there. Yeah. Right. So it's seventy times numbers. right. It's seventy times twenty. It's not just seven times two for sure. Yeah. And that's zero the thing. You gotta make sure. That's number. why. That's why I'm. Yes, zero can be a very big number. Right. If if it's being added to another number, it's really big. Yep. There you Which go. And if you get three, if you get three of them together, yeah, yeah, it's even bigger than that, right? Yeah. Now, can you draw this? This would be a huge drawing. Huge. Okay. Right, because you got to go 100, yeah. two tens, and four, and then you got to do it seven times, and or 70 times, right? Seven groups of ten, and then okay. nine more times. It's going to be this huge yeah. thing. Do you have some colored pencils? Yeah. Get some colored pencils. Get red, blue, and green. Okay. Then let's draw it. Yeah, and then you can draw it in color. Red, blue, red, blue, green? Yeah. Just exactly for these guys. You just got the right color. There you go. So the red are going to be your hundreds. Yep. Right? The blue is going to be for your tens. And the green go, oops, tens. And then the blue, it's see, we used to have kits, we used to have kits where you could grab in multi tens and so forth. I, I, we need to make more of those, aren't it? Oh, and then also you need your green for your thousands. So you're going to have a thousand multiple times because, look, you've got 124 going across, and then you got to go. So you're going to have at least, your, well, not at least, you're going to have seven of these guys, right? Yeah, that'll be high. Yeah. And there they are. Okay, now. And then you're going to have another 1,400, but they're going to be busted up in tens. Or in groups of okay, hundreds, I mean. Yeah, just draw it all on one sheet. <laughs> We've been doing some math. I like it. Let's uh, show me. No, show me some of your pages. Yeah, see, that's a good one. This is me. That's what. That's when we were learning. That's when we were learning about a circle. Was it me or Chris? Um, I don't know. Looks like it might be Crash. Yeah, I was Crash. I didn't do this. Okay. I, thought it, I thought it was Krish. Like fish. What? I thought it was Krish, like fish. What? I thought I said I thought you pronounced his name Krish, like fish. Yeah, that's how you say it. I said Krish. Oh. I thought you said crash. Never mind. Anyway, draw it. Get your pencil out. Get your pencils out and get a good drawing going. Okay, this time I am going to draw monochromatic. And let's see, where do I have room? Oh, I'm going to get rid of this. All right, but it's crucially important that this number be correct. Oh my God, time is flying by so quickly. I know, it's crazy how fast time flies. It's, there's a line in there. Time flies so quickly. Anyway. Uh, uh, let's see here. One hundred, two tens, and four. And we'll make this longer so it looks like a hundred. All right, then we gotta go up seven times. We gotta do this seven times. There's three of them. I'm trying to make it so that all fits. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll tell you, I'll cut that one in two. And we'll cut this one in two. And we'll cut that one in two, and then we'll get rid of these guys, and we'll have a smaller drawing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Beauty, eight. All right, now, look at all these guys we got to draw. Five, I'm at five. Those are six. hundreds right there. Yeah. 
Okay. And I gotta draw one, two, right? Those are all the hundred squares. So here we are imagining it as we go. And these are all groups of ten, right? But they're in groups of four. Forty, forty. So I'm gonna do it again. What about the hundreds? And I'm being the hundreds are right there. So let's see here. One, two, three, four. I'll make it smaller. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. Alright, what did I just do? I just did the 124 seven times. Now I do gotta do nine more times. So I got one more like this. That's this part down here. There's my 900. There's my two groups of 90. There's my 180. And then there's my 36 in the corner. Boom! Got to add it all up. This was the part we had some quote-unquote issues with. Right? But there's my 8,680. Look in there. Bottom. Wow, there's a lot of thousands. Yeah, seven of them. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, seven. All right. See, and we got to get to the point where I can put another digit in there. Yeah. And then we'd have 10,000 square. Very soon we'll be there. Let's do it right now. What do you say? We'll start easy. Don't worry. Don't worry. He looks, he look, you look nervous. Don't look nervous. Don't be nervous. It's going to be fine. All right, so roll your dice. And, I, and if it gets crazy, I'll, we'll shorten it down. We're going to keep the numbers smaller. Seven and 20. Hmm. All right, roll one more. I'm rolling the 20. Yeah, just roll one more. 13. Ooh, we'll make it. Seven twenty-three. All right. Okay. That's kind of big, but we'll we'll be fine. Fourteen. All right, and then we're gonna do that a hundred and forty. Well, we'll keep the zero there to make it easy. A hundred and forty times. All right. Three digit times three digit. Dun dun dun. Yes, I try and score, but I get very wrong. All right, well, don't get it very wrong. We're going to do this in three parts. Actually, we're going to do this in two parts when you get right down to it. Right? Watch me, watch me, watch me. First, I'm going to take 100 and multiply it by this. Okay. All right, what am I going to get? I'm going to write it over here. Seven. That's one word? Yeah. Seven, two, three, with two zeros behind it. Yeah. Correct? Correct. Anything Wait. mystifying there? I just did this Wait. one times this one. Wait, what times what? I just did this one to 100 times the 723. Which gives me 7... In fact, you know what? Let's get... Right? Yeah. All right. There. Then what? Then the... There's only one more step? Well, there's one... Well, I gotta do four times that, right? Yeah. Now, that was a one, that'd be easy, but I gotta do it four times. So I'm gonna do it in four parts. I'm gonna do it, well, three parts, right? And then there's not gonna be anything there. But we gotta remember, what is this? Is that four or 40? 40. All right, so it's, right? So this is 40 times 700, which is what? What's four times yeah. seven? Four times seven? 28. Mm -hmm. All right, so I know it's 28. I know that part, four times seven. How many zeros should I put there? One zero. Oh, I think I need more than that because, dude, there's two zeros there. And then there's one more zero yeah. here. Three zeros. Three zeros. I like it. So I'm going to have... Hey, what about the two and two? I'm going to have 28 days. with three zeros behind it. Wait, but what about the 23? Have, we haven't got there yet. Dude, we just did this and this. Now we got to do this. No, the 23, shouldn't they be numbers, not zeros? No, because we just multiplied 4 times 7. We didn't multiply it all at once, okay. we're doing the parts. That's a good oh, question. Yeah. That's actually a very good question. What happened to the 2 and the 3? Well, the 2 and the 3 we're about to do. 
Oh, all we did was 40 times 700? Correct. 40 times 700. Oh. Which gives me 4 times 7, which is 28, but I have 1, 2, 3 zeros there. Now, let's multiply yeah. the 20 and the 40. Yeah. What's 2 times 4? 2 times 4 is 8. With how many zeros? 2 times 4 equals 8 with 2 zeros. I like it. 8 and 2 zeros. I just multiplied this one times that one. Yeah. Now you remember, that's 40 times 20. Which is 800. There you go. Now, what's 43 times? 43 times? Yep. 120. Well, I like it. Now, we're done, right? Because I don't have to multiply 0 times anything else. We've already done it. Yeah. Why is time so quick? Uh, because we're concentrating. And you keep looking at the clock. Go quit looking at the clock. All right, now. Can we go this way and add them up? Yeah. Because the other thing, see, now we just did one, right? Next time we're going to do like three, and or two, and then three, and then so on. But I mean, like I said, you just got to do it until you master it, until you get comfortable with it. Um, yep. All right, so now I look at this and I see nine, but I look at that and I say, oh, there's an extra one. And I look at that and I see there's an extra one there too, right? Mm -hmm. Do you see that? Yeah. You see that I have more than 10 there and more than 10? And what I'm talking mm -hmm. about is more than 10 hundreds and more than 10 thousands. So I'm going to have nine, oops, I'm going to have one zero. And then what? I'm going to have a one. And then, oops, let's move over. One, zero, one, two, two, zero. One oh one zero one two. I don't have the same answer as you. What do you have? One. I have. I have the same thing as you. Just you have two twos. I have one two. Well, what happened to this two? Because look, oh, if you just look I over here, I have seventy two. I did seven three two, not seven two three. Oh well, that's a problem. That's just simple oh. transposition there. That that's common. That used to mess me up all the time because when I was a kid, I was dyslexic and nobody knew it, and I would always transpose numbers, always. Oh, well, then it's a two. Mhm. Mm and that, that still is a one. So yeah, I'm still. It's the same thing. It's one, it's what is it? It's 101,220. Or 101,220. Yeah, because 2 plus 8 is, yeah, same thing. Right? Because, one, oh, two, two, zero. Right, there's no action here. There's definitely no action here. Oops, there's a little action there. I still don't have the same answer as you. Hmm. Look over here. You have one, zero, one. I have one, zero, two, two, zero. Well, look over here. Here's, you have a problem there? No, that's the zero. I have a problem I there? Put a zero. No, I put two. All right, what's that? Tw two. All right, well, eight and one is nine, and three, so I have one, two, right? Now what, what's two and eight? Mm -hmm. Wait, but how did you get the one, the one zero one? How did you get the that's one? That's why I'm not where we're going. What's two and eight? Okay, so this is two where we're ten. Two and eight is ten, but I have one, so I got one there, right? And the one, so that's mm -hmm. eleven, right? Yeah. Because I have eight and two and one, that's eleven. There it is, there's my eleven. Okay, now let me do that. And then now what's three and seven? Oh, now I figured out what I did wrong. There you go. I, I, when I, um, I forgot to do the carryover one. There you go, you got, that's kind of important, right? 
Yeah, the carryover one. Now, here's um, the thing. I'm going to leave it for you for to, do, to do for homework. And see, this is when yeah. it's actually better to have manipulatives, because manipulatives would actually be faster than this. But take a, take a minute on your own time and draw this. Dun, 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 dun. I might. I might. I might. I might. I might. I might get around to that. All right. But I mean, you're going to be 723 that way. And 100 and four. I mean, you're going to have 10,000s in there, obviously. I might not build it. I yeah. might not, like... Oh, no, you could it. draw it, but that's what I mean. Like, little kids, like your age, generally, five, six, seven years old, they yeah. love getting the blocks out and putting it on the floor and making a big representation of this. Okay. So now the cool um, thing is that we can do it with just pencil and paper and just use symbols. All I want to do is blocks. But we got to keep track of what we're doing. Yeah, you could do it with blocks too. I might not draw it. I might not draw it, but I might. I might. I might not because like it's going to be hard to build. Why? Plans. Well, here's what you could do just for fun. Is you could full on get out your, your dad in you or your brother in you. Yeah. You could uh, get a big piece of cardboard, which isn't hard to find yeah. over there, and you could cut out a bunch of these squares just for fun. So you could do it. You could be like a little math, like could be like a little math project. I might like just build it with my blocks. Or you could try, or you know what the other thing you can do? What? All right, especially since we have a zero, is you can just change the scale on your other blocks. What does that mean? Um, that means that this becomes the 10,000 square. Oh, imaginating. You gotta, imagine imaginating, you exactly, using imagine. your imagination. Right? So this is a 10,000 yeah, square. Now this is a thousand. Everything's the wrong color, but anyway. So this should be the big blue square. This is the green strips. And then after that, you have to use your imagination. Well, actually, that's not true. You still have these guys. And each one of these would be a hundred, right? Yeah. So that would be, that would mean that you change the scale from oh from God. this oh, being yeah see that's what I mean you got and it's it's a good exercise in imagination too so this would be your hundred but then you would use this now you got to use your imagination and we just change the scale right but those zeros are so big and then you'd have to I know that's why when you get those extra zeros exactly and then you'd have to use some pencil marks to make for because we don't have anything small enough to make the tens and the units right because you'd have to use your imagination that a ten would be a super skinny little strip right on this right. You can use imagination and pretend that a two is a ten. There. Uh, what? No. What? Hey. A one is a hundred. Oh wait a minute! This doesn't have a magnet on it. Oh, wait a second. Oh. Ah. You can, you Maybe can. we can pretend that negative. <laughs> some people's time. I love it. I love it. See, that's what happens. You start getting their imagination. All right. So, can you see that what we would have there, though? I mean, yeah. this thing would be huge. It's huge. It's a hundred thousand there. Yeah. Dude, a hundred thousand. Like I said, you need. You got to be in your living room. That's ten of these. Because this is ten thousand, hundred by hundred, but this is seven hundred by one hundred plus some more. So we've got ten of these plus a thousand strip plus two hundreds plus two twenties. Yeah, that's. That's, I mean, this thing's big, right? You're not going to be able to do it just like, I mean, you... I would that. It's so big. I know, there you go. That's why it's fun. I've had, uh, not anymore, it's been quite a while, but we've done where, where, we, where we took our math class into the uh, basketball gymnasium. Wait, what? I said we took our math class into the basketball gymnasium and we built these monstrous problems. It was totally fun. The kids loved it. And each one of the kids, each one of the, a lot of the, a lot of the children, they, right, because it was a public school, so they certainly didn't have money to buy these guys, um, they brought their uh, 10,000 squares and their, their little kits that they made themselves, 
with the help of their mom and dad. And they had, like, each one of them had a couple of 10,000 squares, and each one of them had a bunch of uh, 1,000 squares, and a oh, so big old bag of these guys, right? Well, there's 10,000 cubes on that? Well, think about it. If each one of these, how much is each, there, there you go, this is very excellent. How much is that much right there? Just that one what? there? Wait, what are you, just, where are you pointing to, the hundred? Uh, yeah, well, I'm not, not even the hundred, just the one part out of the hundred. That's one. That's just one, in this scale, this is to scale. So this is a hundred, and this is a hundred, a hundred times, which is 10,000. This is a hundred, right, units right here, or I can go long, and this is 100 all the way across here. But that in half, and there's 5,000 shown on the side. Yes, well, 500. Or excuse me, 5,000, you're right, if I cut it in half. Yeah, because 500 would just be... And fabulous. this would be 500 would be this, just right here, right? One, two, three, four, five. That would be yeah, 500. But the panels. Right, but I have, exactly, but I have 500 ten times. There's five yeah, hundreds ten times. Five thousand. Which is five thousand. And then five thousand two times boonk, is ten thousand. Yep. I can't even hold it far enough away from this one camera to show it. On your camera, you can see it. You can see it's a big blue square. But on this other camera, mm -hmm. I would have to zoom out quite a bit, actually. Oops, even more. There you go. Almost, you can almost see it. Anyway. It's, but that's the big blue square that we're playing with. And see, then we can play with percentages, and we can play with all manner of other fun stuff. All right. I think, let's, let's just do a quick refresher course, and we'll quit. Yeah. But all it is is practice. Because you started a little late. Yeah, there you go. What's this called? Circle. All right. What's it called from there to there? Oval, thank you. All right, but it's supposed to be a circle. Anyway, what, what do you call it from there to there? From there to there? Yeah. Oh. You remember? See, just vocabulary. A diameter. Diameter, very good. And from the center point to the edge, what do we call that? So that's a D. A, a radius. A radius, good. So two R's equals one D. Oh, man. <laughs> Seem to be having trouble. There you go. And what do we call it going around the edge? The circumference. The circumference, very good, because I just had a little uh, little girl tell me that uh, it was the perimeter, which would be right on every other shape except for a circle, right? If I have this shape, that, that, and that is the perimeter. If I have this shape, that's the perimeter. If I have that shape, that's the perimeter. But on a circle, it has its own name which is circumference. Oh, circumference. Very good. All right, how many degrees going around a circle? Zero. Oh, well you start at zero. But if I start from here, how many degrees is it going around? Um, not 90. Not 90. 90 is from here to there. That would be 90 degrees. Oh, so 360. 360, very good, because you could just immediately figure out there's four of them, right? 90, 90, that's, 90. I love it. That's why I like you, because you're smart. All right, so how about this, though? What if I took this? How many degrees on the interior of these three angles on a triangle? What does it add up to? How much? This is 90 right 90. here. There's more. Nine is that. Oh, because ninety goes straight that way. All right, we it's haven't so we haven't done this exercise. I gotta cut that and I gotta cut that. And if I did cut that and that, I just happen to have one laying around from an exercise I did with another student. Can you see that if I cut them all off, I'm gonna get this? Whoops! I'll hold that up to the camera. I'll hold that up to your camera. I can't see it. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay. So what I wound up doing here is I just wound up with the 90 and then the other two. And we wind up with 180. So understand that when I have a triangle, the interior angles all add up to not just 90, 
180 degrees. And this is class. Okay, and we'll call that a day. Alright, yeah. I think you did great today. All you gotta do is practice more. Yep, more make more make, your, make yourself some problems with your, uh, you got a calculator so you can check it. Yeah. Make yourself some problems with your uh, dice. Yeah. Count the big ones first, and then after okay. you get used to counting the big ones first, then do it the way your mom showed you. Then do it using the quote unquote uh, tic tac toe way. Can't the way that my mom showed me and the tic tac toe way are the same thing. That's what I mean. So, be, but before you get to that, get used to counting the big ones first, and then you can see how you can break it up in other ways. Okay, I need a few more classes on counting the big ones first before I can master it. I, I, probably, but, um, yeah, it'll be, it'll be easy. I'm going to do more, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to practice my best if I have any time. Yeah, isn't, wait a minute, isn't your school year over now? Aren't you pile school? Yeah. Or finished with school? Yeah, no, say. All right, so, you got time, buddy. You don't, and, and you don't have to do like hours and hours, just like, you know, just spend like an hour once in a while, like maybe an hour before bedtime, uh, once or twice between now and the next time I see you. Why might you not do hours, like some minutes? Yeah, or you could just do 15 minutes, exactly. Actually, yeah. just do like one problem and draw it, good enough. Yeah. Okay? One problem is even good. But, do, but don't do nothing between now and the next time I see you. How's that? Deal. Okay. Do at least one problem. At least one problem. There you go. Practice a little bit, okay? Three digit times three digit. Because I know it was frustrating you and there's no reason for it. You're smart. You, you'll figure it out. Yeah. All right. But I'm going to do... I'm going to try this. I'm going to do tic-tac-toe board. Uh-huh. So I know what the answer is. Uh-huh. And then I'm going to count the big ones. Uh-huh. And then if the answers are different, I'm going to use a calculator and see who which one is right. There you go. Well, they should both be right, because they're both algorithms for multiplying large numbers together. And then I'm going to ask mom. And then mom just for fun, I'm going to... Yeah, there you go. And then just for fun, I'm going to send you a... a and then I'm going to ask my mom to like tell me how to count the big ones first. Okay. That might be a little foreign to your mother, because she's used to a completely different algorithm, promise. But um, an algorithm just means a way of doing it. Right? She's just used to doing it a different way. She was taught a different way than the way I'm teaching you. But yeah. I'm telling you, you use, do this first, and then you do that, and it's going to... And it's, you should be able to do anything a different number of ways. In mathematics, there's always more than one way to do oh, really? whatever it is. Finding the big one first takes me a longer time. Yeah. And then, the, and then you can decide which one you like best. And the way, usually, the one you like best is the one that you get right every time. Which is... Well, we haven't figured that out yet. Yeah, because I don't know both yet. Yeah, Exactly. Because I I I only I'm used to tic tac toe, so I tried in tic tac toe. I know, but, but it's but it seems to be confusing you. You're you're getting off. You're getting your your you're off a little bit because of uh, not keeping your ones, tens, hundreds, thousands straight. Can you I'm getting it wrong? Because I'm like rushing, but um. Yeah, don't worry. Like I said. You just practice a little bit and it'll become second nature. It'll be easy. Because I'm kind of writing the numbers in the tic tac tac toe board. Mm -hmm. I'm like going quicker by writing like one, one, like one or nine mm -hmm. down. Right. And then calculate the rest of my head and then write it, write the numbers I got. Right. Instead of like writing the numbers in the tic tac toe board and then checking. Right, okay. Then, well, I'll tell you what. Next time we get together, we'll do it the other way. Where I do, where you do it like, okay, so first we're starting to say, I don't know, something simple, like one, two, three, three times. Well, let's see here. The way that they want you to do it is like this, right? Where you fill in the boxes. So three times three is nine. Three times two is six. Three times one is three. Except see how I was being lazy with my language? Three times three is nine. Three times 20. Three times 100, right? And then yeah. zero, we're done, right? There's, I mean, actually, there's nothing else to do. But if I had a three there, or excuse me, a one there, then I would just have, well, uh, 10 times three is 30, 10 times two is, or excuse me, 10 times 20 is 200, and 10 times 10 is, or excuse me, 10 times 
a hundred is a thousand. And then I can add them together. Nine, nine, five, one. And see, I made it non-dynamic. Yes. Where I didn't have any carrying, no bar, no, nothing to carry, right? To start easy. All right, now see, we didn't count the big ones first. We counted the small ones first. And when you count the small ones first, you are very likely to be inaccurate. With the tic-tac-toe board, I count the big ones first. Right, count the big ones first. I always try to count the big ones first. Oh, yeah. Even in school, they tell you to count the big ones first. Uh, really? Yeah. I'm excellent. Good. All right. Because my morning, they actually say to count the big ones first. Right. Okay. I will see you on next Wednesday. Next. All right, I'll see you on next Monday. Next Wednesday, next Monday, yeah. Yeah, alright. That sounds like a Oops. Yep, oh, and I didn't. Bye. Alright, we'll talk to you later. Have a great week. Bye. Alright, bye. Crutonamonshousemath.com for more.